the two see the world in very different ways and see each other in very different ways. Uh, for the Americans, it's become a bipartisan and very strong consensus that China is not just a potential threat, but a challenger and a serious problem for them, an opponent almost. I'm not saying the administration thinks like this, but mm -hmm. I think it's a broad view in American society, at least the think tankers. On the Chinese side, I think there's a very settled view now amongst well, many of their journalist population, that um, America wants to slow them down and uh, stop their emergence, and that America regrets having helped them, given them permanent MTN, uh, uh, permanent uh, multilateral MFN, uh, allowed them into the WTO, facilitated investments, growth, and made them now where they are. China's time has come, and well, we shall take our rightful place in the world, which is quite understandable. But then, how do you take your rightful place in the world in such a way that a very big player leaves space for many not quite so big players? And that's a sensitivity and an art which uh, doesn't naturally, doesn't automatically come naturally. No.